What's up, friends? All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna call this part five of the Super Cub build. Last time I left off, I just left you off with the foam board plane built. But I'll just do a recap. I went ahead after I assembled all the foam pieces. Then I went ahead and taped. I, I painted everything. Painted all the foam. Then I applied all my decals which is just a mono coat I used for windshield and the stickers and then I went ahead and clear packing taped pretty much all of the plane so as you can see it makes the foam really strong won't end up cracking in half on you, if you crash it this plane is really lightweight now I went ahead and ordered uh, the Dynam, I think it's a 2110A brushless motor. It's like a 450 motor or 480 motor or something brushless. It's got a 25 amp ESC and four servos. Comes in a combo from hobbyparts.com. <clears throat> All right, and uh, so we're gonna work on installing the landing gear. And again, all these parts are from the Hobby Zone Super Cub. My sh wing struts, which I just hot glued into the wing, you can see there. I cut off the ends where I wanted them, hot glued them. But before I cut off the ends and hot glued it, I went ahead. This is our balsa wood here, quarter inch thick balsa wood. By three inches wide, by something like three and a half. It's on the plans, how big it is. So I installed that. I went ahead and use the screws to mount the wing struts and then I trimmed them back on the ends and hot glued them into the wing and then here I just got zip ties for my other extra wing strut pieces so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I install these landing gear which is just off the Hobby Zone Super Cub here I went ahead and I just pressed this into the the wood it's just balsa so it dents real easy I got the general area where I want these matter of fact I want to move it up just a hair from that notch and that's a half inch from the front of the balsa wood you go a half inch in and you can install your landing gear what I'm going to do is just so I just notched it out there with so I can see where this is going to mount down in there and now I'm just going to take my Dremel and I try to not take so much material on the first run because I want this to snap in really nice. So I'll just score a line. And I'll see if it snaps in nice, then it'll be perfect. That's perfect. Right where I want it. I just made it nice and straight. You can still remove them if you want, or if you want, I'm gonna put the four screws in here, and I'll. Uh, I might just make mine permanent, the landing gear, and it makes it stronger if you stick some hot glue down in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them back out. Get some hot glue oil on here. Then push them down in there. Make sure they're nice and straight with the wings.
I'll go ahead and set a little more hot glue right on the top of the hole we just cut. Sweet. Now I'll take these little screws, go ahead and stick these down in, in your piece. Yeah, I think I got the wrong screwdriver here. Anytime you screw into balsa wood, what you're going to want to do is after you get these in here, I always like to go ahead and back them back out. And what I'll do is I'll pull all four of them back out, put a little thin CA glue down in each hole. That way the balsa would be nice and strong to hold the screw so it won't strip out of there. There I got that one. I'm just going to go ahead and screw all four of them in. I'll go back and hit them with the CA glue when I'm done because I also want to show you is I'm going to install the cowl from the Hobby Zone Super Cub. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the nose on this plane and install the cowl from the Hobby Zone Super Cub. And that's just optional. You guys can use this front end. You can use the cowl that's made with the plans here, or else you can just get the other cowl. And for my next build, you guys, I think if Sean was asking me what my next build was going to be, I'm, this was the 70 millimeter bat wing, and that's from the Michael Keaton Batman. Well, then I went ahead and designed my own bat wing here. I think this one looks a little more cooler. The thing flies like a dream. I got a 64 millimeter EDF unit on there now, but I'm gonna make one into a 70. All right, guys. So I took the Hobby Zone Super Cub landing gear and I painted it yellow. Match my plane here. Now the prop I'm gonna be running on this is a 9.5. If you guys want to run a 10.5 or a 10.7 or anything, just buy bigger wheels so you can pick the nose up a little higher and fit a bigger prop. And I want bigger wheels on this anyway because I want to fly off the grass. Those wheels are always kind of a little small on these things. Alright, so let's get into the... Here's the Hobby Zone Super Cub cowl. And what I'm going to do is cut off the nose of my plane. And I'm going to go with that. I like the looks of it. Fits good with the plane. And I didn't even... I didn't plan it out to where this would work out nice. It just kind of did. So. I went ahead and picked one up and I already went ahead and marked where I'm going to cut off the front of the plane. And that's what you guys will want to do is make sure you go ahead and build the whole plane with the plans and then go back and cut off the nose if you're going to install the cowl. Any of you guys cutting foam board out there, it's always nice to use the X-Acto knives for a lot of stuff. I mean, I got regular razor knives, but they don't make sharp radius turns and stuff too well. That X-Acto knife works awesome. 
All right, so I cut off the the nose of the plane. I already know where my cowl, where I want it to mount on, which is right there. Now I'm going to take and cut a piece of balsa wood for a firewall. And this is my quarter inch balsa that I used on the bottom of the plane too. I'm going to make this my firewall. I'm also going to make a design a motor mount and depending on where the nose of the plane ends up in the front I'll adjust my motor to where just the prop and the we'll just stick out the front here the prop and the spinner all right but let's go ahead and mark this because I'm cut a piece for this there's three now just gonna eyeball this up Like I said, it's good to have a Dremel around for all this stuff. You guys are going to get into this hobby. A Dremel where it's, where it's at. This thing's a lot easier. Let's go ahead and cut this off. this for my motor mount like I said I'm still gonna have to do some trimming up And then for when you're cutting with the grain, you don't even need a saw. You can just exact out this stuff. So here's going to be my firewall. I'm going to go ahead and hot glue that on right now. And I'll go back later and cut, make my motor mount. I'll make some holes in here to get my ESC wires to the brushless motor and I'm just gonna tack this in here for now I'll go back and reinforce it just want to get it in there nice and straight I'll just go ahead and fill in anything. Fill in some of these gaps. I wanted to leave a little gap in between there so that the glue would fill it in and really bond it to the front of the plane here. If you don't leave a little gap, the glue won't get in between the 
the wood and the foam. Yeah, I just wanted to have that real nice scale looking nose and it's hard to build a scale nose out of foam board. So again, once that hardens up here, I'll stick this cowl on. Then I'll go ahead and uh, drill some holes to where the screws will go in through the foam and into the balsa wood. Make sure I fill up any of these holes here. There's going to be the nose for my plane. It'll be pushed out in there a lot tighter. And it looks good, you guys. And like I said, I'll build a motor mount box in there that my motor mounts onto. And I'll just make the spinner and the prop just stick out the nose. And they also sell at my local hobby parts store, they sell the little J3 Cub motors that mount on the side here, so I'll pick up a little set of those. Alright, so I'll recap a little bit. When you guys assemble your plans, watch the videos one through five. You're going to want to assemble all the foam first. Don't put any tape or decals. Assemble all your foam. And make sure you 45 out for your hinge lines. Just cut 45 out on one side and leave the paper on the other. Same with the hinges for the or the ailerons for the wings. And after you paint the whole fuselage and wings, then you go ahead and apply all your decals. Then after that, go ahead and apply a clear packing tape over whatever you can hit. And it makes the plane really strong and super lightweight. This plane is really light. And they sure are some beautiful flyers. Alright guys, I'll get back to you with some more builds and I'll be doing the 70mm My Batwing version. Alright, till then over and out.